Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel if you've been here before. Um, today is going to be the last of the beginner series um, for a bit. I will revisit these types of educational videos, is what I'm calling them, uh, in the future. But I thought that this was important to get out, especially for beginner card makers. Um, because today we're going to be going through materials, like tools you can get at the dollar store to help you get started. So you don't have to spend like a ton of money to get started. So I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I'm actually going to start off with things that you can find in the crafting aisle and then I'll move to other aisles that you can explore for looking for the tools that you need. Um, so first I'll start off with storage. Um, these are just like little storage containers that you can buy. I got this one this week. Uh, I don't have anything in it right now and I don't even know what I'm going to use it for but I thought it was cute and I'm sure I can find something to put into it. But like. There's six compartments in it. It was only a buck twenty-five, um, so I thought that that was a pretty good deal. These ones I showed during my embellishment video, but this is where I keep all my gems and pearls. This one again was probably around uh, maybe two dollars, uh, also from the dollar store. This one is where I hold all my ink cubes from Lawn Fawn, and again this was probably maybe closer to three or four dollars, but. It holds quite a bit. Um, you don't have to use them for this, you can use them for something else, but I um, just store them upright on my shelf and it works for me, so that's what I use for that. Um, another thing you can get in the crafty aisle are these self-healing cutting mats. Um, they're not very big, but um, it's big enough if you just wanna work on like A2 size cards and it does come with uh, an X-Acto knife. Uh, so you get a knife and the mat, I think, for around $4. So it's a pretty good find. I use it. Well, this one's pretty much brand new, but I will be using it instead of cutting on this mat because I want to keep this somewhat clean for my videos. Um, so I'll be using this to cut into instead of this one. Um, this is a glue gun pad that I found. Um, it was only $2.50. Um, I figured it's silicone, so I could probably use it as a like anti-skid mat that you find. Um, for your cardstock, I'm actually gonna test that now. Um, Cause like the silicone mats you find are can get pretty expensive. I'll just use my exacto knife, and they should all be like the same thing. Like it's, it's not a huge mat, but it still does the same job. Here's just a scrap piece of cardstock. Yeah, like this is not going to um slide or skid or anything so if you want to get one of these for your ink blending um this will hold your cardstock while you're ink blending so this is actually a really good deal it comes in pink and blue if you want um i like blue because i don't like pink uh, so i picked up this one <clears throat> so that will come in handy for sure um obviously there's a bunch of embellishments and stuff you can get at the dollar store too but um my next section i'm going to go through is the stationary section and I have a ruler the metal ruler too so with the cork backing so it's anti-skid um, this is from the studio brand that the Dollarama sells it's pretty handy to have so you get yourself one of these for like a couple bucks um, these fine liners are also from the dollar store and I think you get 12 in a pack they might be like three or four dollars but I've, I've found that these are also alcohol marker friendly. So if you want to like line with these or draw with these on your card and then color with your alcohol markers, these won't bleed, which is great. Um, and it comes with the black, so you can do all your outlining and draw your own image to color. Uh, so these are good to have. Um, and then next we're gonna go to the hardware section um, because these utility knives are great for craft knives. Um, I use these all the time. They're retractable. They have these uh, separate sections in them. So if it gets too dull or too gummed up, you just break a section off and then the next section is sharp and ready to go. Um, so I like to have these. Again, they're like only $1.25 for two of them. And I think you can get replacement blades for these. There might be extra, yeah, there's extra blades in here. Um, <clears throat> so if you take off this bottom part, it should have extra blades in it. I might not be able to do it right now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it has two extra blades in it. So they will last you quite a long time. Let's put that back. 
and they just store in the handle here. <clears throat> and another find at the dollar store is mounting tape, uh, which you can use for foam tape. This is three quarter inch wide. You get 15 feet of it and it's um, about two millimeters thickness. Uh, so this would be good for shaker cards. Um, like I said, I usually use my Big Mama foam tape, which is thinner. Um, it's probably, t this would be two thicknesses of this. Um, but this for like a dollar for 15 feet is great. Uh, and you can use it for multiple shaker cards if you want to just keep it budget friendly. <clears throat> um, these are something else I actually found in the crafty aisle. These are pillow boxes. They were $1.25 for 12 of them. They're made with craft paper. And you can use them to put like little trinkets in them. I thought they were kind of cool because you could decorate them. And you don't need to make them. I do have a die that cuts out pillow boxes um, that hold about the size of a gift card. Uh, this one's a bit bigger, obviously, but um, I will find use for these somehow. Um, but I really wanted these just so that I could decorate them, really. Um, and then I'll find something to give and gift for that. Um, another thing you can do is go to the medical care section and get some rubbing alcohol. Um, this is good if you want to do either alcohol inks um, techniques. This is good for cleaning off any of your tools, especially with alcohol markers. This will just like dissolve it. You can wipe it away. Um, I always keep a bottle of this on hand. I also like to do some techniques with the alcohol markers with alcohol that I can show you in a future video, but um, it's really handy to have this around. I also have spray bottles. These are from the travel section where I keep water in it just for cleaning off my stamps. This is from the gifting aisle. This is plastic you would use to wrap gifts with, like if you were gonna do a gift basket. Um, this comes in a longer roll, but I just kind of cut it down to more manageable sizes for me. But I use this for my flat shaker cards. I found that this was actually good. It's flexible, it's lightweight. Um, you can't really puncture it. Um, like it's pretty durable. So I just stabbed that with the like blunt end of my X-Acto blade and it didn't, like obviously it made a mess of it, but it didn't puncture it at all. Um, so it is pretty durable. It's cheap. You get a couple yards on a big roll. There's like about the length of four of these. Um, I just took a pair of scissors and cut through the roll just so that these were easier managing for my cards. And also I bought a big roll of craft paper um, that's meant for wrapping packages, which is um, kind of cool. You can use it actually to, you can decorate it. Um, I bought it and stamped it for my nephew's birthday last year. I just took my stamps, stamped them all over, made my own pattern to go with the theme that I did for him last year. Um, so that's another idea to do is just kind of make your own gift wrap paper, just buy craft paper or white wrapping paper if you can find it and decorate your own. Um, you can also get stamps at the dollar store. I don't have any anymore. They're not the best quality, but if you use um, pigment inks to stamp them, they do work a little bit better, I find, than if you're using dye inks. Dye inks tend to bead up on certain materials. Um, most good quality stamps are made with photopolymer, whereas cheaper stamps are made with either acrylic or silicone, and they just need something like a thicker ink to stick to it. Um, so you can get those, but I would recommend using a pigment ink. Um, random things not related to your cards, but you can get cheap little notebooks, write down your ideas. This is what I do. I jot down notes or ideas from uh, other YouTube videos I watch. Be like, oh, okay, I like that technique she used. I'm going to jot that idea down later and use it in another way in another card. Um, or I'll just um, see people's color schemes and be like, okay, I like that color scheme. I'm not very good with choosing good color palettes, uh, but so it's good to just jot down your ideas in a book. I also have a sketchbook where I sketch out my ideas, which I also got from the dollar store. Um, just so you can also get paint brushes from the dollar store that are decent quality. Um, I have like a mix to that. There's more to this set than these, but um, the fan brush is good for splatter painting. So would this be? Um, but it's good to have those on hand if you're doing mixed media things. 
Um, so yeah, so what I'm trying to get across is you don't need to go spend a ton of money on supplies. Um, you could just go to the dollar store, even like grab some paint for your splattering. This is just a cheap bottle of acrylic paint you got for like a dollar. So I use this for all of my uh, snow backdrops for my Christmas cards or if I'm doing any other um, image that needs some white added to it that's uh, a little bit more solid than a pen then I would use that. Um, but yeah that's all I can think of at the moment. Um, but yeah just go to the dollar store see what they have. Don't necessarily stick to the crafty section. I would go through see if you can find anything anywhere else. You can pick up tissue paper. Like I said, wrapping paper could be good for backgrounds. Um, and you can go to, like I said, the hardware section and find some kind of tools there that could come in handy. Um, and just like don't spend a ton of money when you're first getting started uh, because you'll find yourself burning out with all of the stuff that's available right now. So I think it's good to start cheap, spend your money on things like your stamps and your more expensive tools, which I will go through a bit later in the year. Um, just some things to save for, but they're not necessary for you to get started. That's it for today. Um, thank you for joining me again. Next week, I swear I will get back into making cards. Uh, I have a card to make for my sister's birthday, so that will be pretty exciting. Um, so I'll see you then. Okay, bye!